I'm gonna walk out here and show you my rental pit. I've got some tell true gauges that I just added to it. I'm actually gonna take this pit home this weekend since it's not rented and I'm going to actually cook some meat this weekend and get ready and prepare for my October 22nd, 2016 cooking class. This is the, the gator pit that we rent. Uh, we do weekend and daily rentals. I do uh, now have my tail tree gauges that are installed here. And we got the birdhouse stack, spare tire, 3,500 pound axle, all steel frame, side access door. It does have a grill ability built into it because some folks that rent this pit don't actually use it for smoking. They use it for grilling hamburgers and hot dogs and chickens at their company lunch on a Friday or whatnot. Uh, we do have some competition cookers that will rent this for the weekend for a competition. Uh, and we have individuals that rent it. We have churches that rent it. Uh, so a whole array of, of, of folks that rent this pit for various reasons. This is a Captivator. It's a 24 by 60 main chamber, two door, four slide racks, tuning plates. It's got a standard 24 by 24 round quarter inch thick firebox, dial style air vents, uh, angle frame uh, fire grate. Uh, I typically put cooking oil on the firebox there, as you see, to uh, minimize it from rusting. That cooking oil pegs on there. You can touch up the paint periodically on these pits if you want, or any pit for that matter. If the firebox gets hot enough to squirt some cooking oil in there and let it bake, and it, and it stays black like you see, as opposed to periodically touching up the paint. And there's no rust, as you can see as well. And they cook it all just continuously bakes on there. Uh, it's got some storage on the passenger side, spare tire in case anybody ever gets a flat, especially somebody that's gonna rent this thing, uh, needs to keep it going and, and not have issues. It's got the birdhouse, as I mentioned earlier, two inch bulldog cup or screw jack, steel wheel. It's got a railing around it to bungee ice chest and stuff down. It's got the steel front shelf. Inside, you've got the four slot racks that I mentioned. They're fully flanged doors, your tuning plates. And it's got a little artwork to it that I added. Just kind of dress it up a little bit. On the firebox front as well. Texas with the Lone Star cut out in the middle. And that is about it, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna hook this up and take it home this weekend. I'm gonna fire it up tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to see if I can do a cooking video tomorrow. Uh, just depends on what's going on. I got my son's got a football game tomorrow, so it's going to be right in the middle of my cook. But I'll, I'll see if I can pull the uh, the HD camera out, set it up on a tripod, and just uh, let it run while I'm actually working on the pit. And uh, show you guys just I plan on cooking some briskets and uh, some ribs tomorrow with some sausage. I'm going to try to keep it simple. And uh, but you know, if you want to be good at what you do, you got to practice. Practice makes perfect, right? And I got my cooking class coming up, and I certainly. Uh, I want to show these guys that are paying top dollar to attend my cooking class and uh, I do practice and cook on the weekends uh, just like anybody else trains I'm training tomorrow Gator Pit this is Rich see ya